We're here in my home because um, I find it an inspirational place. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a designer, I'm a car designer, but for me, I'm interested in all aspects of design, whether it's architecture, product design, furniture design, because for me, they hold certain values. And this place represents, in a way, my design philosophy. Everybody knows concept cars are exciting, but quite often through manufacturing constraints, feasibility, costs, whatever, um, they end up not being like those original designs. Once we made the decision to put the LRX into production, we were totally preoccupied with not diluting that car. Is there Land Rover DNA in the Evoque? Absolutely. Remember, when we created, started creating the Evoque, or the LRX, that vehicle didn't exist within our range. And part of the thinking behind the Evoque is that we want to stretch the brand. The Evoque talks to sustainability in its use of smaller engines, in its use of sustainable, recyclable materials. I think design has to create an emotional connection. For example, if you look at the Tulip collection designed by Aero Saarinen, it could be fun if you look at Arnie Jacobson's egg chairs, swan chairs, they're just fun. Or if you look at a Patrick Caulfield painting, it's that sense of irony, that sense of paring things down to an essence. When you look at the Evoque, you look at that interior and the way it flows through. Again, there's a comparison here with the house, the way it flows through and it visually connects. Automotive design is, is very disciplined. We're not just selling a 4x4 vehicle. We're actually selling a luxury product. The Evoque takes Land Rover into another area of the market. It's relevant. It will bring in a new set of customers. You won't see a vehicle of this size, as this level of luxuriousness or jewel-like quality. Look at the lamps, the front and rear. Look at the detailing on the vents. And it's still unmistakably a Range Rover. You know, clamshell bonnet, the floating roof, this sense of purpose. You look at the interior and it continues, the story continues. Classic Range Rover elements. Evoque has the ability to be personalised. Of course it's been announced that um, Victoria Beckham is um, a design consultant to us. So we're working together to look at with Evoke, for example, to make a very special edition which represents her values and our values. What Evoke has done is changed, I think, our, our culture in our business. It's taken a different approach to create the Evoke. It's helped us establish a vision not just a design strategy, a design, and, uh, a design and product strategy, but it's helped us create a vision for where we want to take this brand in the future. So I'm not saying that every Land Rover from now on will look like the Evoque, but what I am saying is it has been incredibly influential and it will help inform a whole new generation of vehicles. For me, the first time I drove the Evoque, it was um, a realisation that we truly had got a great car. So for me, it was just confirmation, and um, I just want to keep getting in it and driving it. <laughs>